Very often, atheists themselves admit that they have no evidence of God's absence, but they try to put a different spin on it. They'll tell you, no one can prove a universal negative, like there is no God. They think that this somehow excuses them from needing evidence against God's existence. But not only is it false that you cannot prove a universal negative, all you have to do is show that something is self-contradictory to prove that no such thing can exist. But more importantly, this claim is really an admission that it's impossible to prove atheism. Atheism involves a universal negative. You can't prove a universal negative. Therefore, atheism is unprovable. It turns out that it is the atheist who is believing a view for which there is and can be no evidence. So this argument ought to be part of the Christian's apologetic arsenal. The fool has said, in his heart there is no God. They are corrupt. They Here I am to prove to you with one single uh, conclusive argument that there is no God. Okay, here, this is going to be pretty intense, so I hope you're bracing yourself and holding on, you know, just holding on to something, because um, I don't want you to fall over from shock. Okay, you ready? You ready? Okay, here we go. My argument is that I really don't have an argument, because I really can't prove to you that there is no God. Hey, listen, don't beat yourself up too much. Don't be too hard on yourself at all. At the end of the day, me and a whole bunch of other Christians out there know, as well as other theists out there, know that you can't prove that there is no God. At the very best, all you can do is share with me what your religious beliefs are or what your, or what your religious uh, uh, faith is about there being no God. But you can't sit there and prove to me that there is no God. You just can't do it because of your limited education. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. And for one simple, very simple reason why. Um, and I'm sure you've heard this before, or at least I would like to hope that you've heard it before, and that's that you can't disprove or, or prove, whichever way you look at it, in negative. Wait a minute, that's not true. Can, can we take this theory to a test right now, real quick, if you don't mind? Um, I'm holding a glass cup up right now. Well, do you see my glass cup and, 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 and the sleek design? That, oh, I'm not holding a glass cup up? Can you prove I'm not holding a glass cup right now? You can. And guess what? You can prove a negative. Um, now, the most eloquent way that I've seen this explained is uh, by Carl Sagan's Demon Haunted World um, book. He has a chapter called The Dragon in the Garage. And basically... Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Let me stop you right there. So basically you're admitting that you're getting an argument from somebody else and you didn't really think this through yourself, now did you? I'm not surprised there. I deal with these kind of dummies all the time. Um, book. He has a chapter called The Dragon in the Garage. And basically what this gets into is that there's an invisible dragon in the garage and... You can you can read this online, I'm sure, if you Google Carl Sagan Dragon in the Garage. But basically, there's this invisible dragon in the garage that you can't see, but we know that he's there. So you you ask the guy who has this invisible dragon in the garage, he's like, well, can, can I touch it? And he's like, oh, no, the dragon's immaterial. Oh, well, then maybe we can pour flour on the floor and see his footprints. Oh, no, he actually flies and besides he's immaterial and it goes on and on and on the goalpost keeps getting moved and moved and at the end it basically says that why why should I believe this dragon who has all this fire breathing capabilities that I can't see feel touch whatever uh, or test in any type of way um, is that really any better than just you know, is, isn't it better just to not believe the dragon's there at all? How do I know that this dragon's really there? Well, there's a couple of things I want to say about this. Uh, number one, um, there's nothing wrong with faith. Um, you can believe by faith that this invisible dragon dinosaur thingamabagi that you invented, not me, is actually there. And I would be, and I would be totally justified in believing this by faith. In fact, the, Bi the, the God of the Bible says that we can know that he exists by faith. In fact, if we trust him by faith, he will make himself very real to us after we trust him by faith, not the other way around.
Now let's put this theory to the test on whether or not you can prove a negative. Now I want to introduce you guys to somebody. Can you come over here a minute, please? Thank you. Can you sit right here? Thank you. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm 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 doing just fine. Oh, oh you want, want me to put my armor on you? Okay, cool. How, hello, everyone. This is this is my uh, my BFF in the whole world, uh, Curly Sue. Okay, how you doing, Curly? Well, tell them all that again. Okay. What do you mean I'm sitting here by myself and I'm talking to myself? Don't you clearly see that Curly Sue is sitting right here? I, I'm talking to Curly Sue. Curly, they, they, don't worry. Don't mind them. They're being very disrespectful towards you. Uh, I'm talking to Curly Sue. Okay, can you prove to me that I'm not talking to Curly Sue right now? What evidence do you have that I'm not talking to Curly Sue right now? I believe that Curly Sue's there, so I should be able to talk to Curly Sue as long as I want. But until you prove that Curly Sue is not sitting here, who are you to tell me that I'm crazy and to think that you are justified to tell me that Curly Sue isn't here? But, that, I'm sorry, Curly. These are some really rude people on the internet. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. I'll be there in a moment. So it all boils down to another thing you've probably heard, or I would hope that you've heard, is that extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. Or um, things that can be introduced without evidence can also be dismissed without evidence. Um, now, the whole idea here is, you know what, I, I can't prove that there is no God, Sammy. I, I really can't. And um, I'm really comfortable with that, and I really don't feel like that's something that destroys or crushes my atheism. Um, you know, I, I just don't have evidence for it. So it's not really my responsibility to give you a good argument to, you know, why, um, why there is no God. Because I can't prove there is one. I don't think there is one. I find it highly improbable. No, don't think there's a God. So pretty much I done annihilated everything that she said in this video. But um, th there's another point that we need to get to about extraordinary claims requiring extraordinary, extraordinary evidence. Hmm. Where's your evidence for this? Our genes are a kind of archive of the remote past, and they go through us to the remote future. Henry Dawkins may be my four greats grandfather, and he's put some genes in here. But my 200 million greats grandfather was a fish, and by the way, the same fish was your 200 million greats grandfather too. <laughs> Now, I do want to let you know that I believe that I'm created in the image of God and I'm fearfully and wonderfully made and I was created with a purpose. You, however, believe that you evolved from a fish. Where is your evidence for this? And I'm sorry if, if I'm disrespecting you or anything like that because I know some people believe that they evolved from a rat or a rock. Where is your evidence for this? Where is this extraordinary evidence that you evolved from a fish? Where are your gills? Where are your fins? How come you can't breathe underwater? Where is your evidence that you evolved from a fish? Oh, you don't have any evidence for this. You get the point? The argument is stupid, okay? You want the extraordinary evidence for God? You look at nature, okay? You have the trees, you have the birds, you have uh, all of nature, which is not a product of evolution. It is a product of God's creative work. It is a product of intelligent design. It is not a product of evolution, which you have no scientific evidence to verify it whatsoever. And with that being said, guys, I hope you guys learned today how to silence the stupidity of these boring, regurgitated arguments that, they, that these atheists got from listening to other popular atheists who are afraid to debate myself, Veckel, true empiricism, and, 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 and so many other wonderful Christians here on G+. And until next time, guys, this has been another edition of uh, Preaching to the Choir Ministries, laying the smack of down on atheism just one more time, telling you all to read your Bible and do what it says. God bless.